Hi, Michael. Hey, Shane. How are you doing? I'm what good. a great movie this was. Oh, good. Well, not That's only, good. especially for me, my Spanish, I understand Spanish completely. My, I can't speak well. So, so, but I loved it. I love the fact of how the music is very much into the 90s Spanish type of music. How was it to be a part of this film and to really uh, grasp and deal with the music in this? I mean, for me, it was very unique. You know, this is being a part of a of of an entire different uh, production, um, Spanish speaking production, a Mexican history, the, the the history of the telenovela, the the like you said, the, like you alluded to, the '90s songs, um, all the music, and these famous songs that were that were endearing to the culture. Um, I mean, this was not something that is normally uh, me or that I've I've done a lot of, of, if any. So for for me, this was it's just very exciting to be a part of and to be asked to be a part of this and um, to be able to put my take onto this Chad character, this, this um, Miami American dude uh, and um, kind of get into the, into the legend of, you know, Elias Sabadora. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, the one thing I'd really love is the fact that how it's going to cater and reach out to a large and wide audience. Uh, yes. You don't have to know Spanish in order to watch this film. You'll enjoy it. If you know Spanish, you don't know Spanish, or you do, and you'll have this familiarity. What is it like to be a part of a film that's like this? That's, I don't I don't remember a film being like this in the last couple of years where it's uh, caters to multiple cultures. I don't either. You know, I have to agree with you. I, I think it's um, it's it's great. I mean, it's very realistic. You know, the 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 Victoria character is 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 in you know, Las Vegas, you know, she's in the States. This is Valeria is back and, or they're both back and forth, but Valeria, you know, travels with Chad to Miami. You know, there is an English uh, speaking um, element to it, but it, it, I, I think that, I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more of this. I know this is happening in other um, countries as well. I know Korea is doing this. A lot of other uh, countries are trying to do the, um, I'll probably, Get the expression wrong but the it's kind of a crossover kind of thing that i think is why wouldn't you you know i think it's very realistic in that sense but with this story it's a timeless it's a timeless tale you know it's a great traditional kind of you know twin meeting each other and later in life kind of story one taking a the wrong path one taking more of a positive path and i think um that is why it's probably been one of the re many reasons why it might have been endearing to the culture in general, but why we're hoping that this musical will help stand out in the history of, of this series. Yeah. So what were some of the fun moments on set while making this? What, did, what were some of the great experiences for you? I think that everyone seemed to be very jovial all the time. You know, it was just a, I think because maybe it was a musical, and a lot of times, even if I wasn't working, if I was, you know, had an easy day, there was almost always a musical performance that was being uh, rehearsed or, or, or worked on or even filmed. And I think that element made the energy up all the time. So, well, I mean, I could be wrong, but I feel like that's, that helped. And I think it helped with um, camaraderie. And I think it helped with um, everyone being in, in, in good spirits because they were fun numbers and everyone loved these songs. Yeah. I was the new one. I was the one who was, you know, <laughs> ignorant to most of everything. So I had to just, you know, had that smile on my face the whole time trying to be, you know, indoctrined into a new world. Yeah. So now that the film is over, do you still listen and you're going into your archives and maybe going into- I still, I still yeah, I still have, a, I would put a Spotify play playlist together. I remember before I went out there, um, with all of the songs and I asked Sebastian, the music producer to, and Santiago, the director, certain people to get me the, the, um, the songs that they wanted to do, whether they did them all or not. And it's hard for me to remember which ones might've been cut or maybe none. Um, but yes, it was, you know, and we're filming, we didn't film in Mexico. I mean, sorry, we didn't film in Las Vegas. We didn't film in Miami. We filmed all in Mexico. So it just kind of kept me um, staying in character and staying in the vibe. Awesome. Awesome. Shane, thank you so much for stopping with us. We really appreciate it. Truly thank love you. this musical and love the film and much success. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you do.